Um, I'm, I made some tea. Okay. Okay, no, no, not the wig. I know obviously the lace trainer kind of gives the illusion as well, but I'm going to take all credit for it. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Siri. Good morning. Welcome back to my vlog. Welcome back to another dose of Dana. And if you are new, welcome. <laughs> I'm on my way to get my hair done. I am so happy. Girl, that sewing that I had in, I was stretching it. I was really trying to stretch it. But it was time to come out. We was stale. Hair was greasy. Girl, I've not been feeling myself. Yeah, like my hair just wasn't giving. It was time. It, <laughs> It was stale. So, you guys know I've been doing sew-ins for the past, up until like September. Since September, I've been doing sew-ins. I only did I only did a frontal for like my birthday and for that trip because I got my hair done in Atlanta. But before that, I was doing sew-ins. So, you know, I've just really been on my sew-in vibes. I've been loving it. I've been loving the just low maintenance um, in terms of like, you guys know I work out a lot. The, the main reason I switched to doing sew-ins is because of how much I work out and sweating. It's just not, with frontals, it's not really, it just doesn't work for me. And, like, I'm, I'm not in the mood to be fixing lace every day. And, you know, once you sweat the gunk, like, you, we, we know how this works. You know, frontals are just not realistic for people that work out often or sweat often or both, whatever. So I'm actually about to do a lace um, closure wig, a five by five, because as much as I love the sew-ins, I have to give my leave out a break from the heat. Um, that's the thing, it's just like, you know, frontals, your, it's your edges with leave out, or with sew-ins with leave out, it's heat damage, right? I don't have any heat damage, but I'm getting split ends more than I normally would um, on my leave out area like it's a little shorter because obviously I had to trim it or whatever so I obviously I just need to switch it up I need to switch it up the last time I got my hair done by Mariah I'm going to her right now MVP, um, the MVP lab on Instagram she was telling me she's like you should do lace closure wigs again because she did one for me I loved it and I almost forgot how much I loved it because I'm not really I don't know I don't wear them often but for me right now with working out I think lace closures are perfect like for you know not manipulating your actual hair and then also like you know your edges are okay i feel like i just look like i'm about to go rob a bank <laughs> i've been doing the short hair for so long or mid-length you know very natural minimal and just like not doing too much but i'm ready to like just have inches i want inches and all that good stuff I need to go hold this way. I don't know why you're putting me like that. The wig that I'm going to be installing to, not me. The wig that Mariah is going to be installing today is from a hair company called Clay Yee. And they're actually sponsoring today's vlog. So shout out to you guys for sponsoring today's vlog and supplying your girl with a, a beautiful wig. There are knots on it, so we're going to have to bleach the knots. But um, yeah, I'm excited. Like, I'm just ready to feel myself again. I got my lashes done a few days ago, so you know, once I get my hair done, it's one and popping, and like, yeah, I don't know why this smells like a Siri, what happened to you? Oh, she's not even telling me where to go, I turned her down, that's why. I um, will see you guys when I get to the hair shop. I apologize if my lips look dry. I can't find my Laneige lip mask. So, you know, I still have to start off my vlog. So, <laughs> let me just get to my destination. I don't want to play music, so. Got to some layers in it. Yeah, I'm giving you some real content right now. So, this is MVP time. <laughs> we gonna slay this wig. Yeah, it's today. Period. I've been on a wig in so long, I'm excited. And be like, it's the inches for me. Period. It's 22, but it's gonna be long because you know Michelle. Yeah, you're literally four <laughs> feet tall. Four mm -hmm. feet.
show you guys what I got from the mall I also got a bunch of stuff at Walmart but I left most of them in the car I just brought up whatever needed to go in the fridge I was too tired so I will take a lot of my car shortly but um from Aritzia I got everything I pretty much showed you guys so I got these sweats everyone's been telling me to get this one with the pockets they're like they're literally like sweat um they're fleece cargos Julia's been telling me to get them before I even went in the store because she has a pair and she's like yo they make your butt look so good even the girls at the store were telling me like oh my god sis you need them but you know just try them on if you don't like them then you know wait a couple weeks till the other ones come back in stock but they were mad cute this top i literally found when i was cashing out i was really just supposed to get the two hats you guys saw me in the brown hat it's so cute um i ended up getting two colors because remember i only have one and i can't find it and at least i can switch up the colors right um this top <laughs> is so fucking cute they have different colors but it was literally just on the rack right beside me at cash last one in this color last size double extra small i was gonna order it and then i'm like you know what? let me try it on because the girl's like oh i'm a 32b and it's she has an extra small and she got an extra small because she said it feels like you're suffocating and you're really it's really tight and i'm like okay yeah because i'm a 32c but i'm tiny right like my torso is small so i tried it on and if it's perfectly it's not too tight at all oh that's it <laughs> um I'm just going to freshen up and stuff, and I will grab the rest of the stuff from my car later, and we will, yeah, resume. I also got this cinnamon apple um, tea from Walmart, y'all. Oh, my God. Oh, cinnamon apple chamomile. It's so good. I actually have to hop on a call right now, so... I'm gonna vlog in a bit. I'm so tired. I need coffee too. 
One of the things I got from Marshalls is this toy right here. This is Chai's favorite toy. And this is what she did with the last one. Two days into getting it. The stuffing just, she ripped a hole and every time she plays with it, um, the stuffing comes out. So I just left it because I would always try to stuff it back and fix it and somehow she would get it open again because I think within the first two days of her having it, I guess the way it was sewn, it was just weak. I don't know how she did this so quick. Um, but out of all her other toys, if I give her all her toys, something about this just drives her crazy. So when I saw that they had another one, I'm like, honestly, she doesn't need any more toys. But I've never seen her get so excited about a toy the way she gets excited with this one. What's your favorite toy? And he's deflated, but I got you a new one. I'm going to show her. Who is that? Look, look at the stuff from over there. <laughs> Who is that? Oh yes, we got another one. Don't rip this one up, eh? Look at it. She's so happy right now. Which means I cannot throw this one out. Hey you guys, I just finished freshening up. I still need to like fix my hair and stuff, but I showered. So I don't know if I told you guys, but I think I told you guys. We were supposed to go ice skating. I was supposed to go ice skating with Nisi and Ashley, but it is like way too cold. It's like negative 19 Celsius. So I just decided to have a like taco night. I'm about to go to my car and just get some stuff that I grabbed from the store, but they're gonna be coming over in a bit. I just, I'm not putting on any makeup or anything. I just need to like. Oh. Okay, okay, check time, check time. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, hey guys, it is later Good in the day. Look who we have here. Hey guys, it's Shamise. Girl, I haven't seen this girl so in funny. so... So funny. Cool. I'm so corny, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Taco night. I missed her so I much. We I have to go you. somewhere soon. Yes. We will be, so stay tuned. Um, but yeah, we're having a taco night. And we're also going to be mixing drinks. This is the mixologist for tonight. No, it's both me and Dana. <laughs> okay. Both of us. We're we're making, what are we making? Yeah, wait. So what are we making? Uh, lemon drops. Lemon drops. Ooh. We so. got. Well, we already started drinking wine. Yes. But we got triple sec, some simple syrup, <laughs> some lemon, lemon juice. juice. <laughs> um, look what she brought. You guys remember this? I haven't had this and they need to sponsor me. But um yeah, I haven't had this in so long. I don't even like buy this anymore. We got the sugar on the plate already. And oh, and we have gray goose. So yes. Yes. And then we got Ashley on the tacos. Yes, curry. sir. We got some onion, we got some yellow pepper, some red pepper. We just have a random shit here. Some cupcakes, some candy, seasoning. And then I just got these want these um cocktail glasses today, you know, for the aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs>
going wrong. <laughs> no, don't say that. Drink lemon drops, yeah. But so here goes nothing. By the way, I eyeballed it. I mean, I did have the help of Nisi, but for the most part, <laughs> okay. So let's see. That's <laughs> okay. I like it. I only like it because the sugar. And the rim, it kind of balanced out. <laughs> it is dying. No, okay, so the sugar balanced out the acidity and just um, the citrus, the vodka, and everything. So it tastes really smooth. It's not too strong. Mm -hmm. Thanks to the simple syrup, it had a little nice sweetness to it. 
I would definitely rate this, not because it's mine and I'm biased, <laughs> but I would rate this a four out of five. Okay. I would definitely order this. If I went to Moxie's the Keg or anything, I would order this off the menu. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Bing, bing bong. Oh, Ooh. bing bong. Let's see what it's giving. <laughs> the sugar ring is giving first it's of all. It's giving, baby. The presentation is giving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's sweet. It's a little like tangy citrusy, but I also taste the vodka, which is good. Mm -hmm. It's not too strong. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5. Oh. five. <laughs> I gotta do the 0.5 because I, I don't know what it's actually supposed to taste like, but because I know lemon drop is apparently supposed to be a shot. Uh -huh. I feel like it should be a little stronger, but I'm not sure. And that's why we were supposed to do two shots. Well, but we, we did. Shot. We used the is shot. That, is that two shots? I think it's one shot. I truly think it's one shot. I don't know. Because um, it's long. It's it big. That's, it's, giving, it's giving double shot. It is. To me, it was too, but I don't I'm just know. Doing. Okay, my turn. I give it a five out of five. Oh! <laughs> Girl! I give it five. Okay. Oh the liquor's there. Y'all visit Dana. <laughs> order her lemon drop. Period. Five out of five. There goes Shanice. Okay, guys. So, it's my turn to taste my drink. Like I said, it's rustic. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so here we go. You all know I'm a lemon drop queen. I love him. Period. My sugar is dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did say it's giving rust. No, because that's what happens if you... <laughs> Yo, that's what happens if you take a long time to drink it. Anyways. <laughs> it's giving. I think it tastes very good. I feel like it could be a, just a tad sweeter, maybe a little bit more alcohol, mm -hmm. but it's good. So I rate mine's a four out of five. Four out of five? Okay. Yeah. I think four out of five. Now we should try everyone else's. Yeah. Yes. So I guess Shanice, you want to go ahead and okay, try Okay, I'll try, your, try yours. Be honest. <laughs> Sorry, I can already smell the alcohol, that's why. <laughs> yes. It's strong, but this is the type of drink that I would want to get. Ah! Hold on! <laughs> I would, I would want to get this at the bar because I'm paying money for it. Yeah, and I want to so get you taste the alcohol. It is worth your coins. Like it right it is worth your coins, period. Hold on, let me do <laughs> Not me jumping with it. <laughs> like I won. 4.5. Okay, my turn. 4.5. 4.5. This is good. Okay. This is a nice. This is good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is Ashley's. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's so much alcohol. Wasn't that a lemon drop? Okay, no, the balance isn't there for this one. I'm sorry. Or I don't think you shook it enough or something. Okay, let's just clarify. This is the Trini version. The Caribbean version. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I give this like um a three and a half. If you're Karen, you'll give it a three and a half. Sorry. Three and a half. <laughs> okay, let's just clarify. My drinks are the yeah, Trini I'm version. Oh, I'm actually need some strong. Okay. Give okay. Turn. Okay. Uh, so this one's, this one's this one's mine. There, if you want to take a sip of mine. So I'm gonna try Ashley's. It's good. It's a little strong. <laughs> it's a little strong. It hit me different because I feel like mine is the sweetest thing out of all everyone's. Well, let's just call it the lemon drop, aka baby making shot. Oh. You know, if you want to get If you're trying to get drink, drunk, yes. Yes. Period. It could be a little sweeter. Yeah. I definitely taste the liquor. Like, it's good. Like, you know, it's yeah. good. This is yours, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Be honest. Yeah, be honest. It needs a little more liquor. Okay, yeah, I agree. I don't think it. I think the sweetness is fine. Uh huh. All right, so 
Knees. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's. This is Ashley's, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the Ashley Trini. Yeah, lemon girl, this, this needs some lemon juice. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a no, three point five. It needs some more sweetness. And too. It, yeah, it needs more sweetness. The liquor is there though. Okay. I'll give it three point five. I like that. <laughs> is that what you gave it? Yeah, I gave it three point five. It's okay. Nieces. Girl, stop I give it a quiet. I mean, I give it a four. I give it a four. Okay. And you already know yours, so <laughs> I'll just taste it one more time. <laughs> I'm not even just saying this because it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> 4.5. No, it was good. I guess, yeah, 5. But, like, oh, I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but I do feel like mine tastes the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting lit off of these, bro. Oh, my God. It's probably mine. <laughs> There's so much. Okay, well, in David's in the lead right now. Ah! All right, David. Let's do it. Mixologist, adding it to my resume, period. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Right. That's so good. Okay, this one is Dana's. Let's try Dana's. She said it's lit. Her man thinks it's lit. The fans thinks it's lit. Who's my yes. man? Oh, I love this. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Give me some tea. Okay, look at that. It's looking like clear little water, little vodka on the top. I don't see no syrup, little shaky shit. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's drink it. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. We got Harbor 60 up in here. Okay. Okay, I, I, I definitely taste the quality. It was definitely made with love. Okay. I like it. It was definitely smooth. The vodka and the, um, the mixes, lemon, all that is on point. Dana, who helped okay. you? Okay, let me see. <laughs> Try Shanice's. Wait, what? <laughs> It's definitely, um, it's lemony. Okay. It's lemony. Okay, that's what I first thought. When I first had mine, I thought it was It a was a lot of lemon. lemon. Like, it was a lot of lemon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I would say Dana's 4.5. I'm going to give it to you, girl. 4.5. Okay. You did that. You did that. I might take your right drink. <laughs> Dana's, Dana's going to be. Because she helped both of us. I'm hating. <laughs> Nieces, because it was the first round and stuff, I'm gonna no, just base it. What a what is it? Really okay, I'm gonna say three. Oh! How dare you! I'm gonna call it. Wow, that's, that's fine. If that's it looks cool. like a fish, tastes like a fish, it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, honestly, I can't. Okay. okay, but we all made it with love, so cheers. They all came oh, out great. So let's all cheers now. Cheers. Yes. Dana's was amazing. Oh, wow, amazing. thanks, guys. Check nice out Dana's. Congratulations. Yay. You know, because you won, you're going to take a double shot. So. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> Woo! Cheers. Oh, shit. Cheers. 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 As soon as I dried it, it was still, like, there was still oil in it. So I really need to shampoo it. But anyways, I got the rest of the stuff from my car. This is my new favorite green tea. There is um, citrus flavor. Garan gr I can never say it properly. But so this has, um, it's green tea with citrus flavors. Powerful. Guarana and ginseng. I don't know what, well, I can never say it properly on the first try. I don't know what guarana is. But this green tea, I can, I, I mean, I do drink green tea straight because I'm very determined and it's healthy, but like, you guys, this has so much flavor. Um, when I put the honey in it and I drank it, I was like, oh, wow, like, there's just so much flavor. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of different flavors in there and you can definitely taste it. What I love about Tazo and Stash teas is that I find that they're very potent. If you guys watch any of my other vlogs or whatever I've mentioned these brands, I always say this. These two are my very favorite like tea brands. 
they're just so strong and potent you can really taste whatever you know the flavor is this one i already showed you guys i'm obsessed with um it's just so good it's very warm and comforting um and then yeah i just got some peppermint so i asked you guys on instagram the best hair gummies for well or gummies or vitamins for hair growth and i got a couple other brands like um just taking straight biotin which i have i got miel i got a couple stuff but way too many of you guys said prenatal gummies but also when i posted this but like you guys said this a lot of y'all told me to be careful because obviously if you, i'm guessing if you take prenatal vitamins it puts you more at risk of getting pregnant um but i'm gonna try these because way too many of you guys like were raving about this like you guys were like no seriously it's not a joke like not no cap it really does work um so i'm gonna open these i'm gonna start today except so now i'm being extra careful <laughs> i'm joking i'm not thanks guys if you guys have any other recommendations for good vitamins for hair growth just let me know down below hey you guys i just got back from my workout it's the next day and uh, i'm pissed because i just got out the shower and did some skincare y'all <laughs> um my freaking lace Ugh, this is why i just can't you cannot wear that <laughs> black girl struggle man i don't like what the hell it's not as bad now i realize but like when i finished my workout i noticed my closure was um looking kind of white like the lace so i just tied it down because i went in the shower but girl like i'm so mad i just got my hair done last night <sighs> Um, I didn't, what's it called? I didn't, um, and the thing is, I've worked out many times whenever Mariah has done my frontals, and I just tie them down when I work out. It never gets white on the first time, but I think it's because I didn't tie it down this time. I couldn't find a band. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, it's not as bad anymore, but y'all, when I finished my workout, this whole area... Here was fine, but this whole area was literally white. Alexis was like, oh my god. And Clarissa worked out worked out with us today too. I might vlog tomorrow if they don't mind me vlogging. Okay, it doesn't look as bad anymore. So I'm thinking, I forgot. So the key to working out with frontals is you have to tie down your lace. Because this is what I would do. I would tie down my lace. And while I'm working out, I would feel my forehead getting wet. But you're good because once you're finished your workout, you take off the band or whatever's tying down your lace um, and you let it air out, like let it dry. Like let that muckiness, the sweatiness dry. Do not touch the frontal. Let it dry and it'll dry back and like since it's not moving, it'll just dry down. It'll just dry and then it won't move again. The key is literally just not touching your, the lace when it's wet. And you don't want to put your finger on it because, like, the oil from your finger will literally make it worse. But um, I was going to um, call Mariah and ask her to fix it um, in, like, three days because our workout this week is back-to-back. -back. My toilet is running, so ignore that noise. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're good. I was thinking I'm going to have to pop up at Mariah's shop every week for her to give me a touch-up. Um, but you see, this is why I can't do frontals. But I love this hair. And I don't know why I thought it was 22. It's like 24, I think. Um, but yeah, anyways. Yeah, I'm going to take Miss Chai Chai to get groomed. Yeah. And she's coming to the gym with me tomorrow because everyone's been bringing their dog. It's a dog-friendly gym. Um, I cannot wait for her to get a haircut. This girl has a mohawk. Like, no, ma'am. It's giving hyena. Look at her, y'all. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, this is her. She has a mohawk. Whenever her hair is not, like, smoothed down, she just looks crazy. Like, ragamuffin. Go, little rock star. <laughs> 
Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna um, just get her leash. I need to get her a new winter jacket because she grew out of the one from last winter. Um, I think she's done growing now though. She's like six pounds now. Like five and a half was the last time I weighed her. She might be six now. Um, but we're gonna get groomed, boo boo. And her the grooming place is literally called boo boo. It's called boo boo pet grooming. We're gonna get groomed, boo boo. We're going to boo boo. Okay. Such stock. Such a baby. <laughs> oh, you like boobush. Oh, boobush. Anyways, I gotta go before we are late. Because I made it home back just in time to take her to her appointment. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me. back or she's back from the groomers and I decided to just stop at this store close to me because she needs a new winter jacket um because she outgrew her other one from last winter this is cute Chi Chi get him up give them a little spin this one's nice we just tried on this one but I'm feeling this one more and like the fur on this one's kind of this one's giving luxurious she's expensive it's okay baby okay so so far i like that one i'm gonna try on this one i like this one because it has kind of like sleeves ish this one's like a vest but i'm gonna see and then there's this as much as i want to like this the most because it's like it's just so cute. It looks like a legit jacket. It's not really... It's not really giving. It's not giving. We're almost done. I'm sorry. I know. Okay, so we tried on this sweater. Baby, it's giving. Oh, shit. She, she got lint in her eyes. It's giving. This is kind of expensive, but... Oh god, this is giving. This is cute. <laughs> you look so cute. This is cute, bitch. This is so cute. And you can even, like, you know, roll it down. Oh yeah. Baby, this is cute. What a cutie. <laughs> Thank you. It looks good, right? don't like it you have 30 days to return, to return it okay per even with the tag off yeah if you have the tag you can just put it back put it back on, on. okay perfect so long as it's not, like, warm yeah anything. of course of course i was even gonna put this on her because i thought it would be too small but i love this with her fur color she's over it but this is cute so, obviously this one's more practical i think i might just get she literally has no clothes you guys she i haven't bought her clothes since last winter and none of those fit, so maybe I should just get everything. Look a girl, before you fall. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chai. She's the cutest thing ever. What are you doing? She just wants you to pick her up. Okay. Okay, you're She's fine. Yeah, you're good. You're fine. You're fine. Happy girl. <laughs> well, uh, I don't think you're getting your dog back. Sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> look at the tail, look at the tail. Like, she's so she's happy. So okay, go. This one would have been so cute if it was still Christmas. I'm not, I'm just now finding this. Chi Chi, this is so cute. This is like, I love this and it fits her like, this is me. She's over me. But I really like this one too. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Getting ready to go to the gym. I'm putting on this hat that I got from Aritzia. I definitely should do gray, but I don't know. I never wear the brown one. I kind of want to wear it today. Hello. Guys, my child is a rat. She's so tiny. 
Um, she's coming to the gym with me today because yesterday there were two dogs. It's my little emotional support dog. So we're gonna put on this sweater. It looks so good on her because like it matches her fur. So um, I'm, I made some tea. Okay. Just, oh, okay, no, no, not the wig. I made some tea with um, this. I have been loving this Tazo um, green tea. It's the one with green tea, citrus flavors, powerful guarana. I can never say it on the first try. Guarana and ginseng. So freaking good. And then I haven't been having pre-workout because it's either do pre-workout or, pre or caffeine. Sometimes I would normally do both, but I don't know. I just don't need it. I kind of regret making the tea though, because tea, pre-workout, coffee, there's already caffeine in this. I actually need to leave shortly because I forgot I need to stop at the bank. So. <sighs> nah, this tea is fire, guys. If you really like tea or any green tea, this is like the most flavorful green tea I've had. I love it. I freaking love it. My frontal, or sorry, my closure is back to like, I haven't put anything on it. Right now it looks like kind of weird because obviously I didn't lay it back down but like in person like in the mirror you literally it looks like I applied glue again so we're good I just can't find anything to tie it down while I'm working out so it's looking like I'm gonna have to work out with a styling strip <laughs> Wasn't that bad? No, it actually wasn't. The coconut like smoothed it out. Mm -hmm. I never had a shot with coconut in it.
Myself, but you know those ones where you put on your loungewear and I didn't even run any errands I just literally wore this to the dark rumors and back and I'm in it again I paid a hundred dollars for the set so I'm aware it <laughs> um, but okay first of all let me just say you guys I this is TMI but I literally just finished sitting on the toilet holding on to dear life from my stomach because of this fucking smoothie. Freaking smoothie. I'm sorry, I'm trying to stop swearing. I haven't had booster juice in like, I don't drink booster juice anymore. Once I learned that all their ingredients, like all their fruit ingredients aren't real fruits, it's like mostly like fruit juices, like the acai, the guava, the passion fruit. I, and I started, you guys know, I've been making my own smoothies for years, but you know, I was hungry and I wanted to have a smoothie. I had it yesterday too. I get the ripped berry. Like that's one of my favorite high protein smoothies. And I forgot that with ripped berry, there's like, there's vanilla yogurt. There's frozen yogurt and there's whey protein. Whey protein, I used to take last year. You guys know ever since I switched to plant-based vegan protein. I was only doing that just to see. My stomach was never really bothering me before. But for me, it was more so like a bloating thing with dairy. I just wanted trial and error. Um, but my stomach was hurting so bad. I almost thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. Um, it sounds dramatic, but I swear to God. Like, <laughs> I just, I was just literally like holding on for dear life. Holding on to my stomach, just praying for the pain to stop. So obviously, you know. A lot happened in there. <laughs> um, I'm not even lactose, so I don't know. Do you have to be lactose for your stomach? I don't know. I, I, it could also be because when I eat yogurt, I only eat Greek yogurt. I don't eat regular yogurt and from what I'm not aware of. Like every now and then if I get a smoothie and there's yogurt in it, then yeah. But you guys, I don't buy regular yogurt. I've never bought regular like dairy yogurt. Everything I buy, like even dairy in my coffees, I don't know if you guys know this, but everything I use is like non-dairy. And I know there's obviously dairy in certain things that you eat because dairy is in a lot of things. So I've never been lactose. I eat, I love cheese. I can eat cheese and it never really like Fs up my stomach. But yo, this, I it has to be the yogurt because I will say even yesterday, my stomach felt a little, a little funny like later on in the day, but I, I didn't have to go to the bathroom or anything but today today you guys sorry guys i just got a phone call but um yeah this smoothie really like girl <laughs> i thought i was dying all right can somebody answer this if you stop eating like dairy based yogurt for like i can't tell you guys the last time i had dairy based yogurt so if you don't really, or if you stop eating dairy-based yogurt for years and then finally consume it is that why because like my body's not used to it like is that why that just happened like my belly was hurting me so bad you guys i was getting weak like i was getting the chills i was grips it onto my stomach like <laughs> for dear life so i don't know but 
noted to remove yogurt from smoothies because that I never want to feel that again. Never ever want to feel that again. Oh, my goodness, girl. I warmed up my salmon and it looks gross now. But I had Joey's yesterday and I did not even eat it. Or I ordered the ro roasted corn guacamole and the herb crushed salmon. Herb crushed salmon. With mashed potatoes. And I only ate the guac. I just wasn't hungry. Um, I'm eating it now. I wish I ordered a side of crispy mash, but... Oh good. But anyways, I ordered something from Essence. It's finally here. I feel like I ordered this like three weeks ago. Maybe two. Um, Essence had a private sale and like a regular sale. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I kind of want to film an unboxing on TikTok. I did not know that these tights were in collaboration with w Wolford. I ordered these tights from Vetma. I had no idea they were Wolford. Oh, a Wolford collab. But anyways, I just got black tights that say, like sheer black tights that have the Vetma logo all over them. And then I ordered, I'm going to film an unboxing. Maybe a little try on on TikTok. Sorry guys, I'm just going to make sure my tripod is good. Um, and then I also ordered these tights from Jacques Mousse. Um, which, a part of me is kind of hoping I don't like them. Because I can't believe I paid this much for tights. Or leggings, but they are a very thick ribbed material, and I think I'm gonna like them. Just looking at them, material, like the fabric and color, they're like a really nice, um, I don't know, like beige color. Um, I hope they fit. These were I, everything. I, I just ordered these two things. I was gonna order something else, but honestly, I didn't really feel like spending too much money. I need to chill um, on the spending. So this is all I ordered. These are essentials. Well, the tights are essentials because I don't have any pair of tights. I actually wanted a pair of Gucci tights. I think every girl has a pair. And they are just so nice, very classy. They look so good with um, like dresses and skirts. And I just feel like for winter, you know, I still want to dress up and wear dresses and skirts. I don't really wear skirts, but like for dresses, but like not freeze my ass off. So that's why I feel like for certain things like belts, tights, I feel like you only really need like one, like one black designer belt, one black designer tights. Those things are like staples, I feel like, and you only need one. You can have more than one, but I feel like the type of person I am, I just need one. So I just, uh, I couldn't find any Gucci tights um, in like a price range that I wanted to pay. I think like right now the black ones are like four something or five something and I'm not paying that much for tights or stockings. These were on sale on Essence and they're really cute. I actually saw them a while ago because they've been on sale. If you have the like private sale with Essence updates and stuff, like if you're on Essence's private sale, um, these have been on sale for a really long time and I've been watching them for like two, three months and I just wasn't sure if I was gonna like how they looked on me. I was worried that the Vet Ma logo all over the tights was gonna do too much and not be like a classy look, be more kinda, I don't know, I just wasn't sure if it was gonna go for the looks that I wanted to put together. If you wanna see the items, then head over to my TikTok cause I'm about to film an unboxing and then edit this video. I'm so excited for these leggings. But yeah, let me, mm, it's getting kinda Dark. It gets dark so early now. I feel like I should wait till tomorrow. Yeah. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, but I'm gonna do like a post like a little sneak peek on my IG. Um of just like this packaging. And then yeah, because I don't I'm not feeling this lighting right now. I'm gonna do it right here. I wish my apartment had more space, but I'm not gonna complain because I'm gonna be grateful that I still have a place to film content in. I just really gotta like declutter and just fix my decor. I have been dreading like filming fashion content or anything that shows my place because it's just like, I'm just not feeling anything right now. <clears throat> but um, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna do that. I'm about to finish editing my weekly vlog that's going live today. I really wanna get some good rest tonight because I just, I've been so tired. I wanna wake up super early tomorrow and like declutter and deep clean and just like anything that just, you know those ones? Honestly, if you, if your mind feels cluttered, you feel uneasy, you feel anxious, 
check your surroundings. If there are rooms in your house or just things in your house that clearly need to be cleaned, deep, deep cleaned, decluttered, or just switched up, that is more than likely one of the reasons why you feel like that. I'm just gonna always feel anxious and, un and uneasy if my house is not in order. The laundry that I have, you guys, it's never ending. So I feel like if you have a pile of clothes in your laundry room that you know needs to be washed, folded, or organized, whatever it is, make sure you do that because I'm telling you, it's really gonna help. I have so much laundry that I need to not even just do laundry, I need to stay on top of my laundry. Just, I don't know, just, do you guys, is it just me? Or do you guys not wonder where the frig do I go to have this much laundry on a regular basis, like weekly? Because I'm not going anywhere. All I do is work out and stay in my house. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Who's wearing these clothes? <laughs> Cause it's, is it me? Cause I don't know. Tomorrow I also, if I have time, I wanna go to Crate and Barrel cause I need new plates. All my plates are mis mismatched. Um, and then I also need a new kettle. I already know the one I'm gonna get, it's at Best Buy, so. After my workout or before, depending on how everything's go, I may or may not do that. But anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting and do some work and finish end this video. So good morning, you guys. I'm getting ready for my workout. I figured I should give you guys a little gym OOTD. I kind of want to start doing these because you know, I've invested a little money into my gym fits, so I might as well show y'all. Plus, I get asked sometimes on my Instagram. Um, so, we're doing cardio today, and I think upper body. I know it's a, more, it's a light cardio day because Julia's been putting us to work with um, everything. I'm so sore. Three days back to back. I usually do every other day. I'm just putting on my Nike Drew Fit socks. And I'm not gonna put on my gym shoes, gym shoes now because it's so cold and like snowy outside. So I just put them in my bag. But here's my little gym fit. So just have on this Nike Pro sports bra, Nike Pro shorts. Waist trainer is from Zuri's Silhouette Bar. A little fit. Cakes is uh, coming together. A little bits lifting. I'm so I'm happy. I know obviously the waist trainer kind of gives the illusion as well, but I'm gonna take all credit for it. <laughs> this is actually one of the um, some of the items that I got in. Uh, I bought these in Atlanta. If you guys remember the vlog I did when I came back from ATL, I told you guys I got some stuff at Macy's, like some Nike Pro stuff. So this is one of the sports bras and shorts that I got. This is my favorite one. I'm gonna quickly show you guys my sneakers. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm putting them on at the gym, but I'm just gonna be wearing my um, Nike Vapor Max. I need to get these cleaned so bad. They don't look that bad on camera, but they're really dirty in person. This pair is like way dirtier. But yeah, it's gonna be a little cute gym fit. <laughs> um, for my fragrance, I'm just gonna put on. L'Interdit by Givenchy. Nothing too crazy. I just, you know, obviously when I sweat, I don't want to smell like sweat. Um, and then I can't find a lace band, so I'm just going to be wearing a whole head tie today. I fell asleep last night without tying down my lace. It's okay, but like one more workout and I'm like screwed. I think I'm going to get a touch up with Mariah next week. Um, I'll put this on at the gym. I'm gonna quickly take my Oxy Shred pre-workout. If you're looking to burn fat and also like get some energy, this is perfect. It's a pre-workout thermogenic fat burner. Okay, my camera's just on my titties. <laughs> Obviously, if you've been watching me, then you know like I've been using this, been talking about this. This is definitely the best pre-workout that I've used thus far. No jitters, no um, itchiness. C4 makes me feel like a crackhead and I I hate it. This one, you just get a burst of energy. You can literally replace this with your caffeine. This is like the perfect pre-workout to take on days when you're you're trying to burn more fat. So today's like a cardio day. We're not really focusing on stre strength training and lifting today. So I want to be so toned this year. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly put some in my cup. 
by the way, the flavor, if you couldn't see that, is pink, pink grapefruit. I can't wait to try a new one. They're actually coming out with a new, like, ener energy drink, like a liquid form. And guess who they reached out to to do a sponsorship? Which is really, really exciting. So I can't wait to get that product and try the drinks. I've been seeing other fitness girls that I follow who I actually, like you guys know, both, any fitness girls that I've talked about, I'm pretty sure. I've been seeing them try it and post them. So I can't wait to get mine. And they said they, it tastes really good. And I definitely believe that as well, considering this actually tastes so good. That's a little too much. Oh, you guys can't even see, I'm sorry. Yeah, so I just have some of that. And then just add a little water. It feels like perfect. And I'm just gonna drink this while I drive. Um, I'm about to put on my sweatsuit. Chai needs to put on her sweater. The sweater is so freaking cute. Come, baby. I like this one because it has like a little turtleneck, right, boo boo? There's so a little bit. I cannot do. Tech time. Relax, relax. Relax. She took off her sweater last night. Yeah. This sweater is not like one. Close. Look at you. This is cute. This is really cute. <laughs> so cute. Okay, we're gonna go up to the gym. I'm just gonna put on these sweats from White Fox Boutique and the matching crew neck. I haven't worn a waist trainer all week. I can't wait till I feel like I don't need to wear it or till I just don't wanna cover my stomach. Like, that's just one, like, that's the biggest goal I have is just to be confident in showing my midsection without like having to suck it in or like poke it out you know what i mean that is like i think every girl who can't do that or feels like they can't do that it's like your biggest goal so let's go to the gym <laughs>
much for a light workout whatever I'm so sore I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow but we have <laughs> a rest day tomorrow and then we're back but um I want to show you guys a smoothie. Like the girls at the gym always drink this smoothie. This isn't my first time trying it. I think this is my second. I completely forgot about this, but Julia gave me one. I got one for the ride home. I haven't eaten at all today. I need to do better. But I wasn't hungry when I woke up. But um, there's this brand in Toronto called A Plus Smoothies. You guys, first of all, I can't even believe it's vegan. My camera's about to die. I can't believe this is vegan, you guys. It tastes so good, like so smooth, and like it has like pumpkin seeds, unsweetened almond milk, dates, pumpkin seed powder, pure vanilla extract, and cinnamon. It tastes so good. It's vegan and gluten free. This is the al vanilla almond shake. There's 24 grams of protein. I look like somebody's auntie right now, but <laughs> whatever. 24 grams of protein, muscle development. There's. It's a, also a really good meal replacement. 35% RDI iron. I don't know what RDI is. It's for muscle repair, easy, di easy digest, diabetic friendly, half sugar, half carbs, you guys. And it has so many nutrients, like... 8 grams of fat, 397 calories, carbs, sugar, fiber, protein, magnesium, calcium, iron, and zinc. I wish I told you guys about this brand the last time I tried it, but honestly, I forgot about it. This smoothie is so good. If you do end up trying it, let me know um, if you try it. I know you're going to like it. Trust me. I know you're going to like it. It's so freaking good. I'm going to order some from them. And I was going to, like, pick up something on the way home because I'm going to cook, like, pepper steak stir fry later. But the way I just want to get home... And it's like traffic. I'm just gonna order something so when I get home, unless I pick up something from Joey's. I don't know, but I need to get home. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. But guys, I am so freaking hungry. I am so hungry. I'm filming my, finally, unboxing of my essence order. I sprayed down my wig. <laughs> um, Cause I may or may not put my face on camera I don't know because I kind of want to try them on on camera I've never I've only done like a bag unboxing I'm gonna put on some music just to get into my zone I'm gonna play it's you know what's crazy I have yet to play um the song hours and hours by money long or Mooney long on my own like I have literally never clicked play and let it play on its own but I can't tell you how many times I've heard this song on social media. I'm already tired of it, and I haven't even listened to it myself. That's how you know everybody abused this damn song. I haven't even gotten the chance to listen to it myself, and I'm already tired of it. Do you know how crazy that is? But I'm going to play it, because, I mean, it's about time. But I put on the stockings now. You guys, these are so cute. These were like my, the only thing I was actually supposed to get. Like I've been eyeing these tights for months because Essence had their private sale a long time ago. These are so fire. I'm so happy I got them. I just need to order the graphic tee from Urban Outfitters. Um, but I'm going to wear it with these black shorts. These, and I need some boots. These are so fire. It's me sticking my whole booty out from the camera. But, oh my god. It's like two hours later. Or three? I don't know. I was editing. But I'm about to make some dinner because I'm starving. I'm actually going to make salmon instead because today was a, you know, cardio, lightweight day. Not heavy um, lifting. So I'm going to have fish instead. And honestly, you know, we need to clean eater than before. I did say I need to challenge myself. And I really just want to cut down on the carbs on the days that I don't need it, like today. So um, instead of doing brown rice, which I'm still tempted to do, I'm going to do roasted potatoes. And I'm trying to see if I have some greens that I can do. All right, I found my ingredients. So we're going to do some urban garlic salmon or lemon pepper salmon. 
I don't know, I'll figure out the, the seasoning just now, but I have my potatoes. So I'm gonna do roasted potatoes. And then there's some, it's like a broccoli chopped kit. Sunflower kernels, dried cranberries, and uncured bacon. I don't want the bacon in here. I don't know how I feel, but like packaged bacon, like I don't really trust that. Um, I'm just gonna take the broccoli out of this and do roasted broccoli with like, you know, garlic powder, herbs, herb and garlic, you know, the regular. So well, we're gonna get started. I'm currently watching Arnel Armand's weekly vlog. This is a vlog that I'm watching right now. She's so pretty. Gorgeous. dinner is done i wasn't gonna have wine tonight i literally said this because tomorrow's gonna be a deep clean and self-care day but after i do that i wanted to like you know wind down and have a blah 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 and drink some wine but it's okay this is like a, a little bit less than a six ounce i'll be good i'm drinking reason by the way but i wanted to do a quick taste test i ended up just adding a little bit of honey in the pot and letting it sizzle and then you know using the spoon and putting it onto the salmon because 
I don't know, there's just something I love about like a little sweetness on my salmon. I'm so used to it. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I don't need to be moaning. In the camera like that. But shit, this is good. <laughs> I might wanna have that other piece. I'm pretty hungry. Not even gonna lie. That honey, that little piece that you guys saw me put in the pot came off when I peeled the skin off of the salmon. I used to leave it on, but honestly, I don't really like the the skin on the salmon, so I peeled it off. And when I did that, a piece of the salmon came off with it, so I'm just gonna give it to Chai. Loki, I don't want to give it to her now because she's crying for food. Like, I don't know why you think you're entitled to be eating what I'm eating because I barely give you my food. But, and she has food in her bowl, but hmm, ever since, yeah, ever since I gave her some of my soup, she always <laughs> wants my cooked food. So, it's kind of my fault. Mix it up in your kibble. And there you go. Can you breathe? <laughs> Look at that tail wagon. It's good, huh? It's good, boo boo. I know. This girl's so happy.